Hi everyone, my name is Simon Kuipers and I'm the head coach of t -Alpha Academy. Hi everyone, I'm Ian Steen and I'm assistant coach at the t -Alpha Academy. In today's video, we want to talk about clothing, what you need to wear if you go skating. First, we want to start with the, almost the most important thing, is the helmet to protect your head. Especially with short track, with mass start, with marathon, you have to wear a helmet. And it's very important that the helmet has a quality standard. There are no holes in the helmet. If there's holes, blades can go in there. So it needs to be sealed and not with like a, a point because if you fall, you have the helmet on your head and you fall, it should be round. If you go skating on a long track, at least wear a cap to protect your head and it's warm. And it's also important to wear hand gloves, not only because it's nice and warm for your hands, but also for protection. Those gloves are cut proof and it's really important because the ice can be rough. Uh, but when you fall on the ice, other people can skate over your hands. So skates are really sharp and it's really important to protect your hands with gloves like this. <laughs> To protect your eyes, it's best to wear glasses. These are dark lenses, but you can also get them in transparent if you're skating indoors. And also if you're skating, you can have like tears in your eyes because of the wind. And this also protects you for those tears and make sure you have a better view. Uh, most of the skaters skate with bare feet. So it's also really important to protect your ankles. We already talked about the the blades it can be really sharp, so you want to make sure you can cut yourself with the with the blades. For that, we have protection socks, so you can wear them over your ankles, and also bring them over your skates, so you can make sure every uh, part of the ankle is protected. Uh, for example, with the start, when you fall in the corner and you hit the wall, it can be possible to uh, to cut yourself. So it's really important to wear those uh, protection socks as well. Next subject, of course you need to wear a skating suit and there's a lot of variability. This suit is an easy to train in suit. It's stretchy, warm. If you're sweating, the moisture is getting outside. It's like a, a zip, it's easy to wear, very comfortable. There's no protection in this suit. So if a skate goes through the suit, it goes also through your skin. This is also a, a suit to train in. Uh, also feels really comfortable. The material is a bit lighter. It's less warm than this one. But there are different kind of um, uh, halls to train in. Uh, sometimes you train outside, but it's really uh, cold. So then it's better to wear a suit like this. But this is yeah, the material is a bit lighter and and, and less warm uh, than the other training suit. So this is a long track skin suit. It's not that comfortable to skate in. It's made to uh, be fast on the ice. There's also uh, uh, a hat. Um, so this is really fast and it also keeps you in position. It feels really tight, so it keeps you in the skating position. That's why this is a really good suit to skate competitions in. This suit is a short track suit and has a lot of protection. This is cut proof from the ankle. See, there's a cover. You can do this under your skate and there's like you feel it here, it's like a very thick protection and all the way it's cut proof at the front, at the back, even here, this part for your neck, it's cut proof. The arms are cut proof, except for this bit, but you're still wearing your gloves to make sure you're fully protected on the eyes. A little bit less comfortable to wear, but protection is the most important thing.
Well, you know now what to wear if you go skating. And for next time, we'll talk about what kind of skates to wear. As you see, there's a lot of skates here and we're the perfect place to talk about it. And if you have any questions, let us know.